Want to learn how to crochet? Struggle with instructions that move too fast or video that's not very easy to see? Stay tuned and I'm going to walk you step by step in a slow pace through how to complete the single crochet stitch. I'm a home ec teacher who teaches hundreds of students how to crochet, quilt, sew, and cook. And if I can teach a middle schooler how to crochet, you can learn too. So let's get started. So I'm going to begin by placing my first row of single crochets into a chain. If you don't know how to chain, check out my video on how to slip knot and chain and crochet. I'll include it in the description below and there's also a spot at the end of this video where you can just click on it to watch. So check that out if you don't know how to do this. So we'll get going by putting our yarn into our left hand for tension. So I create tension by going between my pinky and my ring finger, on the back side of my ring finger, up between my ring and my middle, come over and drape over top of my middle and my index finger. And then I grab onto my chain with my thumb and my middle finger on my left hand. I'm a right-handed crocheter. Okay, so to begin, Single crochets usually start on a chain in the second loop from the hook. So what that looks like is not this one, but this one. So we're gonna go right in here. Most patterns will have you just pick up that first leg from the chain and have just two on top. And then if you look, kind of three on bottom. Sometimes the pattern will tell you to pick up both of those legs on top and one on bottom. So it really just depends on which pattern, your what your pattern calls for. So pay attention to that. So we'll just do the one leg. So we're gonna go through, pick up one. Now we have to yarn over to start this single crochet. So a yarn over simply looks like coming up, grabbing onto that yarn, and then keeping my hook horizontal and pulling through that chain. Now I'm left with two loops on my hook. Now this yarn over is gonna look a little bit different. We go back, around, rotate our hook till it's facing down and pull through both of those loops. So the first yarn over, I'll put it into this second chain here, is simply coming up, grabbing onto the yarn, keeping my hook horizontal or facing towards me, and then pulling through the chain. Now when I go to yarn over for the second one, it is a back, up, rotate my hook down, and then pull through these two loops. The hook position matters because it makes it easier to pull through your loop or your hole that you're going through. If on this first chain I had my hook facing downward, I'm going to catch on the rest of the work. Or if I have it facing up, it's going to catch. So that's why horizontal is the best position for my hook for this first pull through. Okay, so we come up, grab that hook, keep it horizontal, pull through. Now though, if I were to keep it horizontal for these second loops, I would catch. If I had it facing up, I would catch. That's why on this second yarn over movement, I point my hook down because it makes it go through those loops easier. So this yarn over again is a back, up, around, grab on, and pull through both of those loops. We'll move on to the next one. Up and grab, keeping it facing towards me. Now I've got two loops. Rotate around and grab, pull through. So hopefully this is making sense. Let me know in the comments if it makes sense or not. So we're gonna finish out this row here. We're gonna go right here and go through and there. So there is single crocheting into a chain. Now we're gonna do a second row of single crochet. Usually your pattern will tell you to chain one and then turn. So what that looks like is we're gonna do the rotating yarn over. So we're gonna rotate and pull through, and that's a chain one. So I'll show you one more time. I'm going to back, rotate, around, pull through, chain one. Now turning is simply taking my work from working towards my hand to turning it to face away. So the turn is simply going from this now to this. Okay, so now we're ready for our second row of single crochets. So we are gonna go, I'm gonna tighten this little knot right here. We're gonna go into this upper hole. Hopefully you can see this. 
that right there is where we're going right here. So we're going to put our hook in there. Now make sure you have the two legs of the previous single crochet on top. Same thing, we're going to come up, horizontal yarn over and pull through. Now the second one, we're going to do our rotating yarn over and pull through. Right here is where we're going, this upper one. In, up, grab, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Another way I help keep tension is I put my index finger here on this loop so it doesn't get too big or too small. It kind of helps keep a consistent spacing. I also, again, am pinching the work here with my left hand to help keep things constant. So we're going to go right in here. We're going to yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. So I'm going to go a little faster here to continue across this chain so I can show you the last stitch on this row because it can sometimes be a little tricky. So on this last one, sometimes your hook is only going to want to pick up one of those legs. So you really need to make sure you get both of those legs from that previous single crochet here. So we're going to push into there, making sure we get two legs. We're going to yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over, pull through. So that is how we single crochet stitch. So guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to get notifications. I'm going to keep posting uh, stitch tutorials, so you're going to want to check them out. So I hope you guys have a blessed day.